Good day everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play the board game Mousetrap from Milton Bradley. Uh, we'll start with the board over here. Um, you've got a section over here where you're going to be building the mousetrap and there's a whole bunch of different pieces that you're going to use to build it. Uh, you're going to start over here and you're just going to move around the board and you're going to roll a die and you're simply going to follow what the instructions on the board say which I'm going to go over here in just a little bit. Okay, these are all of the parts that come with the mousetrap game and you're going to be using these parts to build the trap itself and you're going to be adding these pieces one at a time to the board until the trap is completely built. Uh, now you also have a couple of these little metal balls over here and you're going to be using these on the trap in order to activate it and then of course you have one standard six-sided die. And right over here you have cheese pieces and uh, you're going to be collecting these throughout the game and you're going to be using these cheese pieces uh, to force people's mice to move once you get over to uh, this area over here where the trap is going to end up getting set. So what you're simply going to do is you're going to start by playing, you're going to roll the die and you're going to just simply move around the game board. Let's say I'm green and I go um one two three four five this says cast me out go back two spaces and then so i'll go back two spaces now you'll see that there are spaces here on the board that have numbers on them uh depending on how many players are playing uh you are going to go ahead and place a piece of the trap on the board uh if that number of players is showing up over here uh so if i was at a playing a three-player game and I landed on this, I would not put any pieces on there. But since this says two, three, four, and I've got four players, I'm gonna go ahead and place one part of the mouse trap and then collect one of these pieces of cheese as a reward. Whenever you land on the build space over here, near the end, you're gonna build two parts of the trap onto the board. Now you're gonna build the trap in numerical order. There's a certain order. And right here, this is the first piece of the trap, and uh, you'll just simply follow the instructions as far as where you're going to place it. And this piece is going to go right over here, and you'll just simply uh, slide it in there. Every single time you land on one of these numbers and it matches the number of players, you're going to add another piece to the trap. So now let's go ahead and talk about the other spaces. As I mentioned before, these are the build spaces. Then you've got the spaces that say go back and then move ahead. And like I had a go back space over here, you would just simply follow the instructions. Over here, you would do the same thing. Uh, there's also a space that says take cheese. You're simply going to take uh, that amount of cheese uh, whenever you land on a uh, take cheese space. There's also a space that says lose cheese. Here's one that says caught napping, lose three pieces of cheese. In this case, you're going to go ahead and give back three pieces of cheese. If you land on the dog bone space, which is over here, nothing's gonna happen. Now, right over here is the area called the loop. Um, there's six spaces here on the end path, and uh, there's a safe space over here, and what this means is that nobody is gonna be able to move your mouse. Now, once you arrive at the loop, um, you're just gonna basically be taking turns circling as many times as is necessary until the mouse trap is completely built. Now, on the cheese wheel space, when you land on this, you're automatically gonna take two pieces of cheese from the cheese pile, and if it's empty, you can take any pieces you're entitled to from the opponent with the most cheese pieces. And if they're tied for that, then you can take them all from one opponent or divide them out between the two of them. Okay, everybody, this is the completed mouse trap, and I got both of the balls set. Uh, so let's say we've got a couple of mice over on this side here. Um, there's a couple of ways you can set off the trap. Number one, if there is a mouse that is already here on the cheese wheel and you roll and you end up landing on turn crank, you're going to go ahead and turn the crank over there, and that is going to set off the trap. Now, if it works correctly, this little thing is going to go down and capture the mouse that is in here. And if it does that, then this mouse is going to be out of the game. Now, if it turns out that it does not capture the mouse, then he is immediately going to go to the safe space. If there are no mice on the cheese wheel space, then you can try to move one of the mice over there. And the way you're going to be doing that is with these cheese pieces. So what you'll do is whenever you end your turn by landing on the turn crank space, there's no opposing mouse on the cheese wheel space, you can go ahead and return a cheese piece to the pile and then you'll be able to roll this die over here and uh, let's say we have a mouse over here and he went one two three so now you've managed to move the mouse over to the cheese wheel space and now you can go ahead and activate the crank now you're only going to be able to use the cheese pieces when you're on the turn crank space um, if your opponent's mouse is on the cheese wheel space when you land there, you can still use the cheese pieces to try to get other opponent's mice onto that space as well. So let's go ahead and set the trap off and uh, see if we can capture the mouse. So we turn the crank. And 
And we caught the mouse, ladies and gentlemen. So now the mouse is going to be out of play, and then everybody else is going to continue playing. And the winner of the game is going to be the one that has the last mouse standing. And that, folks, is Mousetrap.